What's up, Frame Fam? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about rumors that have recently started spreading concerning a possible RTX 3090 Ti or RTX 3090 Super, whichever name they decide to go with. As always, take this information with a grain of salt, as speculation from feedback given by Micron concerning their memory chips is where these 3090 Ti rumors originated. With that being said, let's get down to the sauce. Alright, so what is going on here? Nvidia just announced the RTX 3090, 3080, and the 3070, yet we have heard about the RTX 3070 Ti leaks that I covered in a recent video, and now we have RTX 3090 Ti talk going around. Well, to figure out the origin and logic of these rumors, we have to take a look at the memory configuration of the 3090's 24GB modules. At the time of its production, Micron only had 1GB GDDR6X modules available, and as a result, Nvidia had to place 24 chips each being 1GB in size, to get the monster's 24 gigabyte frame buffer of the GDDR6X VRAM that we now know the card has. And with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM chips on its PCB, the RTX 3090 has to dedicate a much larger portion of its power budget to its VRAM when compared to other Ampere GPUs like the RTX 3080. For example, the RTX 3080 has 10 1 gigabyte GDDR6X memory chips and needs 140% less power for its modules when compared to the RTX 3090. Now this is what leads us to the assumptions from Micron of a revamped model in about a year or less from now. Micron has recently already confirmed that they are working on 2GB memory chips that will provide a little faster memory bandwidth than their current design that will be available in early 2021. This means that Nvidia will be able to put 12 2GB memory modules on the future RTX 3090 Ti's PCB, saving half the space than the current design along with using about half the power consumption for memory while reaching over 1 terabit per second of memory bandwidth. This would allow Nvidia to allocate the energy budget to other GPU features elsewhere in the GPU for better performance, like increased clock speeds and even more CUDA cores from additional streaming multiprocessors. Additional benefits to such a change in memory configuration would definitely lower production complexity, and as a byproduct of that, production times would also decrease and may even lead to lower product defect rates. So what does this mean for consumers? Well, Nvidia has stated in the past that they don't like their naming schemes, and so I doubt we will see a Super or TI variant simultaneously, but one or the other is eventually likely. After all, Nvidia did leave a pretty large gap in between the $700 RTX 3080 and the $1,500 3090, and likewise for the RTX 3090 and the $2,500 Titan RTX. That being said, some insiders are saying it's possible that we will see an RTX 3080 Ti in the future to bridge the gap between the 3080 and the 3090, and the 3090 Ti will bridge the gap between the 3090 and the Titan RTX, while also replacing the Titan RTX with much better performance, considering the current RTX 3090 is about 50% faster already as is. Honestly though, I'm not sure how I feel about the RTX 3090 price range rumor. In my mind, if the manufacturing process is more efficient with production times and defects dropping with less memory modules being used, I could see that as a way to counteract high costs, but only time will tell. These are all rumors and as always, take everything with a grain of salt. I like to say that over and over again like a broken record. That's all I have for you guys today. I do want to know your thoughts on all of this though. Do you think we will certainly expect the TI or super variants of the Ampere cards within the next 6-12 to 12 months, or do you think these rumors are getting a little out of hand? Comment down below and I'll be sure to chat with you guys all about this. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to nail that like button so YouTube will show it to others who might enjoy it as well. As always, folks, it's been my pleasure. Please stay safe, stay happy, and keep on gaming.